very different to my other horse, Rio, who I competed in London. He's quite shy and reserved, whereas he is such a character. He likes a people and, and to come say hi, but she's really naturally talented. So um, I find her in many ways a lot easier to ride than Rio. Um, she's just a bit young, so she might have a lot to overcome in Rio, but I really trust her. She's quite a calm character. So as long as we have that bond and she knows that I'm there for her, I think she'll be amazing. Lucas is a nap strapper which is a breed from Denmark that was originally developed to pull the, ho the royal family's carriages in public. So they have a very good level temperament which, uh, which makes them good for the move out of that into the individual sport of dressage where he develops a partnership with me and his calm temperament helps him to go to all these different places. And you say he's very calm. Does he have any um, funny quirks with his personality? Well, he's a stallion, so he likes to try and boss you about a bit and he'll occasionally give you a sly nip and, and try and tell you what he wants now, not what you want now. But otherwise, no, he's lovely. He's, he's a great friend, he really is. JP is a little bit of a diva. Um, he loves winning. Um, he will go into that arena and be like, everybody look at me, I'm really special. Um, but in a really lovely way, um, he is really sensitive, um, which makes me work probably a little bit harder, but he's really forward thinking and we know each other inside out, upside down. Like I've owned him since 2009 um, and been riding him since then. And you know, he's such a special horse and I love him to bits. He's like my soulmate. And when he travels out to Rio, will he have a, a travel companion that he takes with him or? <laughs> I think Zeon and JP are completely in love. So um, I think those two will probably be traveling together and be best buddies out in Rio. Um, he's, he's, he's not a modern sport horse type. He's quite uh, masculine and quite big and heavy. And, uh, and his movement is quite big and powerful versus kind of the lighter sport horses. Um, I love him to bits and I, do, I feel generally, other than breaking my back in four places, which he did in 2011, uh, I think he's really well behaved, but he winds the, uh, the grooms up quite a lot. He's very fidgety and if you want one leg, he, he'll always pick the opposite leg up and if you go to put the things on him like his bridle, he'll just, he just always steps to one side, so he's always, always winding people up. I think it's his humour more than anything else, but... Um, he's quite similar to you then, quite cheeky. <laughs> I don't think he's as cheeky as me, you know. <laughs> he's like a big dog. <laughs> so he's always into everything. He's doing um, everything's in his mouth all the time. He's normally doing things wrong. He, he likes a lot of attention. Um, he's definitely an attention seeker. Um, but I've had him for 10 years now, so I know him really well. Um, and he is a little bit like my baby, I guess. Um, and yeah, he's a, definitely got a massive character. Um, I love working with him. Um, and it's yeah, a massive honour to be able to take him to Paralympics when we've worked together for so long.